<clears throat> so I came to scout this spot about two weeks ago and they had deer poop and tracks all over the place and I uh, came this morning thought I heard something running around in the dark whenever I got here I haven't seen anything all morning it's almost nine o'clock right now I want to get down and walk down this bottom a little bit and see if they got any more sun any more fresh sun south of me on my way in I found fresh shotgun shell holes somebody squirrel hunting up in here I don't know I doubt that they walked all the way back here to squirrel hunt but I'm sure it made a difference on the deer pressure I'm gonna start gathering up on my stuff and get down I need to get that Slim Jim I dropped on the ground earlier drop my Slim Jim So I made a video a couple weeks ago called Pre-Rut Signs and where I made that video is exactly where I'm hunting this evening. Um, I got a scrape that has been freshened up pretty recently. Uh, last time I came in here there was one scrape. This was about a week ago. There was one scrape and uh, by that point it had been freshened up twice. This time I came in here, it's the same scrape freshened up, plus another scrape right next to it, a smaller scrape. I don't know if he's just coming back and forth. And then there's an even newer scrape, about 10 yards in front of me. That scrape's 30 yards, that older one. Well, the one I've been seeing, it's not older, but I've been seeing it uh, for a while now. And there's probably four or five fresh rubs about 60, 70 yards behind me. <laughs> This is a spot that I don't come to very often because it does hold deer pretty well. And I started seeing this buck sign back here, so I've kind of been concentrating on it here lately. I didn't want to go back to where I was this morning. Whenever I got down and uh, went look for a fresh sign, there was no fresh sign, which doesn't really mean much this time of year, but there was shotgun shell holes and boot prints, so some kids or something been in there squirrel hunting which is cool doesn't bother me now I know and since this is my first year hunting this piece of public land that that's gonna be a really good opening weekend spot it's opening day I saw several good several deer so I haven't been here in a couple weeks in this spot and I'm starting to see trails I didn't notice before where the pine needles are beat down just kind of going every which which way in here so I'm gonna sit tight this evening I'm not hunting a doe I'm hunting a buck and we'll see what happens I'm trying to kill something with a rack but we'll see how I feel by the time it starts getting dark if a spike or something comes out I might let it rip I haven't spent a buck tag this year so I'm not low on meat so I probably won't do that I won't shoot something just for the sake of shooting it, but we'll see. All right, day after a real big front, I'm ready to rock. It's like 52 degrees right now. Wind's blowing like 15 miles an hour. Yesterday it was like 74, 75 degrees all day. So we got us a little cool front. Try this afternoon, try the morning, see what happens. Should be about in the middle of the rut. I don't know. That's just from what I've been told. So we're gonna see.
was dark, so I don't know how good the footage was, but it was either a six point or an eight point. And I said, <laughs> if a six point comes out, I said I would make up my mind whenever I saw the buck. It didn't take me long to make up my mind. He's not a real big buck by any means, but he's my first real public land wrecked buck on film. And I just heard him crash. Like, I don't know. I felt like he, it sounded like he went like 100 yards. And I feel like I just shot a monster. Holy cow. Bruh, why every time you call me in a stand, I shoot a deer, bro? He got a rack? I think it's eight point. He ain't got much of a rack, but I freaking, I seen him, I was like, yeah, he about to get it. He was, he was working a scrape line right here, the same scrape line I've been hunting. I see a white butt right there. shot just came out a little far back well I had a goal this year it was get a rack buck on film on public land and I did it awesome too cool so if anybody's been keeping up with what I've been doing all year you'll know this is about six months worth pre preparation just to get this deer and uh, he's not the biggest deer I've ever killed but for public land down here in Louisiana with a bow and arrow especially in the middle of December like it is right now it's a damn good deer in my opinion it's hard to get on anything down here with the amount of hunters we got and uh, that's not a complaint I'm happy to say we got a lot of hunters down here in Louisiana but uh I feel like I just shot a freaking monster buck tonight and he is show sure gonna eat good so what I'm gonna do is skin out the skull and boil it tomorrow make a cool skull mount have another one on the wall I'm sure my wife is gonna be happy about that but um, yeah I'm using the Matthews monster with the um, shoot what are these called Carbon Express pile drivers, and I have uh, their 31 and a half inch arrows, I believe, with the 100 grain swackers. And it was a quarter and two shot, and the arrow went all the way through <clears throat> and did its job. Didn't have much of a blood trail. Uh, I think that was due to it came out so far back, and the um, stomach matter kind of plugged up the exit wound. But I was getting concerned there for a little bit, but I heard him crash on camera. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it in the footage but I heard him crash playing his day he only went 60 yards.
Thank you.